Hey guys, this is the pour that I'll be doing for you today. Such a neat effect. My colander pour. Stick around and see how I did it. Thanks guys. Hey you guys, Molly from Molly's Artistry. Just gonna do another colander pour. If you stick around at the end of the pour, I show you one that I've resined. And I also show you how I layer my paints in the cup and what the colander looks like. So take a look at the end of the video for that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So, just gonna pour this in. I'm out of um, circular canvases. I need to go and get some more. And if you guys check the little box down below, you'll be able to see what colors I used and what my pouring medium is. And if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I answer. The colors are really pretty. It's almost like a red, white, and blue. I was kind of going for a Southwest feel. I put the brown in there. I don't know how the brown's actually going to react. It has already started to come out of the bottom. So the other important part is to really lift up slowly. And you'll see as you lift up, the paint start to drip out. And that dripping of the paint is what causes that reaction. Okay, so I'll show you the kaleidoscope in the middle. And there it is. Happens the same every time. Really pretty. I don't know how I feel about the, the brown in there. We'll see. So, and if I don't get to my ends, I'll just put some more paint on here. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't like to go in a circle like that because that makes this design really crazy. So I just like to stretch over and then back and bring the paint back to the center. Over, keep going over on that one. Like I said, if I don't get to the edges, I'm not like super concerned about it. I'll either use a balloon or something to get it to the end. So I really think that the gloss medium that I use is a large part of why this design holds so well in the center. Not loving the brown in there, loving the blues and the whites. Back to the center. I love the, the little balloon shape that's in the center there. That is like super cool. But yeah, if you guys try it, try this technique, let me know. Let me know if it's working for you. Let me know if you want me to do any other videos. I'm gonna do a cell tutorial at some point. Do I wanna go off that end? bring it back a little bit try to open this up down here I have a lot of paint left on my canvas so I've got some room to work with I don't want to stretch it too far I hope you guys can see it okay so my paints held up really well to stretch that that far Come back down this way now. So 
see if I can open up any on the other side. And if I can't, that's okay. These are always kind of a surprise to me too of what design I can keep, what design goes away. Okay, I got it over to that side, bring it back. Come back. Bring it over that way. Hope you guys can see this. Trying to get to this corner over here. Maybe I'll rotate it so that you guys can see it again. You guys are probably like, please stop. Don't try. But it's just paint, guys. For all of you that are having, you know, paintings that you don't like, I mean, money is always a factor. And I realize that, but if you don't like it, figure out why you don't like it and try to change it, right? That's what this is about, experimenting. I'm trying to get this back over to the center. Still have a lot of paint on there. Okay, this one part down here got a little bit stretched out. That's okay. I can try to bring it back this way a little bit. Bring it back up. Like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. But man, that looks so cool. That's more like an uh, American flag kind of one, right? So, I will show it to you. Give me a second. Okay, you guys. So that is the effect. Look at that center. Like, how... 3D and cool is that? Looks like a little, I don't know. What is that? You guys tell me. Like a little balloon? I don't know. Those always look like bugs to me or like little candies. There are so many layers. I just, I'm like in awe of what a kitchen stringer will do. <laughs> So anyway, that's the, gosh, that light. Let me do it this way. That's the overall piece. Um, I wish I had gotten the effect that's up in that corner down here. Ooh, my hand's shaking. But I didn't, and that's okay. I like you just the way you are painting. Oh, look at those. Really beautiful, crazy effect. Like fireworks. I might call this one independence. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I'm just battling on at this point. Thank you guys for watching. Happy painting. Stick around for the end. I'll show you how I mixed my, or layered my paints. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Hey you guys, so I wanted to show you how this came out. This was, uh, I think like my third or fourth colander pour. I put a coat of resin over it and I think it looks amazing. So that will be for sale, um, love it. So I wanted to show you guys how I put my paints in the cup. You guys always request that, so I'm gonna do that. So here's the colander that I'm using. It has a lip on it right there. Um, 
you know, it's very small, but it holds it off the canvas enough so that the paint can drip through there. Um, there's no holes in the center here, and the holes are rather large, and they go all the way around the back side. So that's that. And now I'll show you how I do it in the cuff. Here's my paint consistency. Let me see which one would be a good one to show you. So see how thick that is? Right, it sits on the top of the cup. Look, I can make a design with it. That's how thick this is for this pour, okay? And I've listed my pouring medium down below, so check that out in the description, the colors. Um, so I, I normally start with white. There's my white, you can see how thick that is. So I normally start with white. And then I'm just gonna layer these colors in, so I'm just going to pour one down the side over here. I like playing around with the different layers and seeing what effect I get. So, but I mean this, you know, you can do whatever you want. This is your painting. I'm using brown today and I don't normally use brown, but I guess I was going for kind of like a southwest type feel, but we'll see how that goes in there. So this is like a, a rendition of my paint split, you know, um, layering the paints in different ways, not just layer by layer gives a different effect in the ring pour. So I'm just going to keep going with that. Put a little bit more white on here. The white creates a pretty cool effect. So, whoops, I got to get it in the cup though. <laughs> Then I'll come in, maybe I'll have a little bit of red. I'll just come in and put some red over the entire layer there. And maybe this blue will create like a purplish color. So you guys let me know what you think. Has this pour worked for any of you? If so, let me know. If not, we can try to troubleshoot. Why not? Ooh, I'm scared to put the white by that brown. Do a little more red over the brown. I don't want to do too much paint, so I might stop right here. I might do one layer of blue over it and stop right there. Okay. All right, so that's how I layer my paints into the cup. All right, thank you guys for watching. Happy painting. Bye.